Now conventional construction is always going to require you to have fascias and gutters, so let's continue the house from the last tutorial and I'll show you how. My name is Jesse, a practicing BIM manager teaching you Revit for free. Let's dive in. Alright, under the roof tool we have fascia. I'm going to edit type and rename this because I want it to say what it actually is. So we're going to go 19 by 235 and click OK. Now this is coming from a profile where if we actually back out of this, I'll come over here and I've expanded families and come down here to profiles and we've got fascia flat here. You can, you can expand this to see all the different options of fascias that we can use. If I right click this and I edit, we'll see that we've got our fascia profile here. Now if I go VV for visibility graphics and click on annotation categories, I can turn on the dimensions and reference planes and show you what's actually going on here. So we've got our thickness and our height set as these two parameters. Um, this is your center left and right, and this one is your center front and back. Now that just means that these two are basically your insertion point. So when you draw a fascia, it references a point in space and draws it along a line. Now this is that point that it's going to be drawing the profile around of. So it takes this and extrudes that along that line. If you wanted to test some things to see how this is actually going to react and change, you can click on this number and change this to 60. And you can see that this part stays fixed and this is where it's moving from. Let's undo that. You can do the same thing with this one. Go 600 and it drops it way down. Undo that. That's all good. We're just going to close this because we don't want to change anything. With roof selected, let's click on fascia and pick the lines of the bottom point of where the roof slopes are. Now when we select all of the lines within the same fascia, they're all connected as if they're one entity. So if we zoom in here and click on that, you can see that they're all selected. Now I'm going to want a separate one for the face here because we're going to do something different with it. So if I click somewhere else, I've deselected it, I can go back to fascia, and with the same one selected, I can click on both of these. That's about as simple as it gets. Now let's add a gutter real quick. Come down here and click on gutter. We're going to be okay with our standard gutter because we don't want to change anything. But what I do want to click is this front face of the fascia itself. And I'm going to go around and click on all of these. And as you click, it adds it as if it's one continuous element on that one and that's it. Now what we have going on here is not really ideal. This isn't exactly how it's going to be built. So if we click on the front with the fascia selected, it'll focus in on that area and we can come down here. We can drag this down kind of just a nominal amount, but up in the corner I can see that it's 3160. We're going to work with that. Come down over to this one and we want to drag this one down as well and get it to be the same thing. So it's the same on either side. Now let's select this fascia and set the vertical profile offset to minus 50. Move our mouse out to accept that. And now you can see that it's pretty much well hidden behind. If you click on this, it'll go transparent. Mm, that's, that's hidden enough. What we'll want to do is actually change this profile so that it's a bit shorter. It's about 32 millimeters. If we change it to 200, then that'll be really good. So let's edit type, let's duplicate this one. And let's just change that to 200, click OK, and we don't actually have an option for this. So at the moment we can pick 184, which is nice, it's smaller, but it's not exactly what we wanted. So let's go back to Families, open up our Profiles, and we're going to right click on this one and we're going to duplicate that, and we're going to change it to... 200, just like how we changed that column in the first tutorial, let's right click on this and click on type properties. Now we can come down here and change that to 200. Click OK. Now select this one, edit type, change this to 200. Click OK. Now, with the fascia selected, I can change the end mitering. So this is actually going to change the direction and angle that this is going to be. Let's change this to perpendicular. Click on that. And then come over to this one and click on that. There you have it, fascias and gutters. I'll see you in the next one.